you know, or middle of the pack offense, middle of the pack defense, but he feels more concerned about the defense. As you, I'm sure, are going to think plenty over the next week about what's ahead, um, where are you at on the defense? Our defense isn't very good. Um, it's kind of been the story all year, and you got to do something to fix it. And, you know, it, <coughs> it has to come from within. Defense is all about a will, a want to defend. Um, defense isn't fun. You just got to want to do it if you want to win. And we have it. Did you, what's your optimism level if it's coming? Uh, it's not just going to come. Do I think we're capable of doing it? Yes, but I don't think it's coming. You can go get it, but it's not just coming. How involved are you in trying to bring that out from the others? I mean, I'm always <coughs> going to try on that side, but I can be better. Um, I'm just as much of a corporate as anyone else, you know, so I'm not going to point the finger at anyone or point blame. if. <coughs> If you're a leader at something and you're failing at it, it's your fault. You don't need to look any further. So I, I'll, I'll take that. So in this league, we've covered a lot of teams like yours that have been champions, and then it takes a little while to flip the proverbial switch, right? No, I don't think it's that. I don't think it's a championship hangover. Um, it's a will to want to defend. And you're, you're not hungover at 560 games into the season. <laughs> You're a loser if you think if you're still hungover at that point. So there's no hangover. Um, it's the will to defend, and stop and guard your man, and sink when you and help and trap the box and rotate. Uh, it's, you know, defense is all one to two steps extra. Yeah, I'm gonna take that extra step to get there. Or I'm not, and that's all will. And we don't have that as a team. You can have it as individuals. I can have that myself. Moon can have that, but if you don't collectively have that, it's just like if you put a team together and it's like one guy can really get after it. Nobody else brings anything on that side of the ball. They don't even bring effort. You could put Steph Curry or Kevin Durant or anybody else out there on offense. If no one else is going to want to do the extra things, then it doesn't work. And so um, you have to do it collectively. And... That is a huge responsibility that falls on my shoulders, and I haven't gotten us there. When do you push that? Now or later? No, you have to. It's, <clears throat> it's now or never. Uh, we're at 500 at the break. Middle of the pack team with those middle of the pack stats. So you got to come out the break and win and do it at a high level, or you go home in the beginning of April and. If everybody's happy or nobody's happy, I don't know. I wouldn't be happy with that, but that's what would be the result if you don't get there. But why do you think that it's heading into the All-Star break at 500? Why do you think finding that collective will has been challenging? Um, if I had to answer, we have it. <laughs> that's for certain. Um, I wish I had that answer for you. Because if I had that answer, you wouldn't be asking me. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Have you been on teams that have this problem before? Ah, uh, yeah, 2020. Okay, that was a very different team. Yeah, we stunk. So, <laughs> yeah, then. Uh, other than that, uh, playing the league for Mark Jackson and Steve Kerr, both required defense. Had pretty much a top five, top ten defense every year I've been in the league, with the exception of what that year. Um, Tom Izzo definitely requires defense. <laughs> and my high school coach 100% required defense. We pressed the whole game. So, can't say that I don't quite understand it. Hey, Draymond, what do you think goes into building a collective world? <clears throat> um, it's, it's, it, like I said, it starts with taking on the challenge yourself. Um, every guy has to decide that they're going to take on that challenge themselves. And like I said, that challenge isn't just guarding the ball. You know, that challenge is I'm supposed to be there to help. That guy has to be able to trust that I'm going to get there. And if he doesn't trust that I'm going to get there, then what do you do? You file. I think we all know that's been a problem for us, right? So you have to make those rotations over and over and over again to build the trust. Then once you build the trust, it's second nature. If I get beat it, and I know Loon's in the game, I'm not following. 
because I know he's going to be there. We have to build that collectively. And when we do that, we can be the team that we're supposed to be. I assume that you guys have, have spoken about this quite a bit behind in the locker room or amongst yourselves. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot, but you got to do it. Uh, you can talk to it blue in the face. You don't put that effort out there because defense is 90% effort. If you don't put the effort out there, it doesn't work. Three minutes. Let's do one, one last one. Okay, three minutes. Defending champions, you guys, you, you have the experience and have been there to the top. What would you say it is that the league is graduating and catching up and you guys have a target on your back? Oh, uh, they said that last year. <laughs> and we won again. <laughs> oh, no, not that one. Let's get ready for Hoop Jazz.